It's beer o'clock on Relay Craft Beer. Today we're going to be showing you how to load another blade keg. We got another one from the Keg Hub. A really cool shop just across the way from us. Uh, I think it's keghub.co.uk. Check them out if you're looking for all your new blade kegs. Um, this is the Vila Lager. It's 5.5% ABV. Um, I went on to Beer Wolf to pick up this keg. Sold out. They had it on the Keg Hub. Really pleased. Um, I'm not sponsored at all by the Keg Hub. I purchased this keg um, out of my own money. I just wanted to give them a little shout out. So they've been grow going since 1841 in Austria. Uh, Schweheter, original Weiner Lager. So I'm going to show you how to... Oh, look at that. Load this keg. It's an 8 litre keg of beer. So you're just touching the orange bits and taking this nozzle off. So take the nozzle off there. You can just chuck that out the way. And then what you're doing, you've got a button on the top here that you push down. Nice and hard, like so. And then you, what you do next is you should have taken the top off. Take the top off your blade system. Stick that there. I always try and grab hold of the line between my fingers. Turn the keg like so. And then load him in. There we go. Like that. Pull your the front down. Again, you're only touching the orange bit, so feed the line through. Click it into position. Put that back up. Now just be careful when you're loading these kegs. You, kegs, you don't trap the line. Try, that's why I had the line between my fingers. Try and feed it down the, the, the front there, down the channel. And then what you do then is you turn your system on. Lock it down. Turn your light on if you want. Put your dome back on the top. And I store, well we're hitting spring now so it's about, I reckon it's about 7 degrees in this conservatory. Um, I store all my kegs down in the corner here, I've got another three kegs to, to load onto this blade system. Uh, and that's it, you wait for it to cool down. It's about 7 degrees now so I want to chill this one down another 4 or 5 degrees. So you've got a temperature gauge there, let the temperature gauge temperature gauge hit the bottom and then you can serve yourself a pint so while I'm waiting for this to cool down um, I'm gonna go and get a sandwich <laughs> back in a moment right I've had time to google the name it's brewery we chatter and it's the Vienna Lager not Weiner Lager as I called it earlier on it's the Vienna Lager 5.5% uh, ABV so what you do is get your glass up to the nozzle, give it a little bit of a pull, just to clear or just to pull some beer through the line. I think it's very important to do that. It just really, really helps then with pouring a decent pint. You've wetted the glass, you've got beer in the line, now you can pour your first beer look at that you don't have to do it on every single pour, it's just when you put a new keg in, just to let you guys know. I'm super excited by the look of this beer. 
proper Vienna Lager. So Vienna Lager style is a darker malt, a darker lager. Uh, it's got a one to two finger, slightly off white head, um, slow moving carbonation on the beer. But look at the colour. Beautiful, beautiful kind of chestnutty, amber, clear looking beer. Ideally, if I'm being perfectly honest, ideally I would like to drink this beer at around 7 or 8 degrees. The blade chills it down to 3. You might lose a little bit of the of the malt character in terms of aroma and flavour. So you might just want to cradle your glass a little bit to try and maybe warm the beer up a touch before you get into it. I think if they ever bring out version 2s of, of these systems, I think they have to, in the future, look to put a, a temperature gauge on so you can set it at the temperature, temperature that you want to set it at. But that's one for the future. Let's get the aroma on this beautiful looking beer then. It smells fantastic. Really nutty, biscuity, bready. Oh, real malt backbone to this beer. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Gotta put it down. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. What a beer. What a beer. Oh, it's terrific. It really is terrific. Biscuity, bready, nutty. You get a lag of qualities through that kind of real good drinkability to the beer. A little bit of spiciness and pepperiness on the back end. A little bit of bitterness. But that kind of... It's not overly sweet. It's just more biscuity and bready and roasty and toasty. I'm so pleased to have, I didn't, I didn't even click, to be honest, didn't even, when I was loading the keg in front of the camera earlier on, it's only when I looked up on the internet, uh, I was calling it Vina Lager, because of course, you know, I'm speaking UK, I'm reading it in an English way, a British way, but it's Vienna, Vienna Lager. And it's one of my favourite beer styles. One of my favourite beer styles is a, is a Vienna Lager. I had some really, really good ones when I was in Poland. Um, I had a, I got an Austrian friend who comes to Poland and, um, and he, he sometimes brings me a Vienna Lager and it's so good to drink. So fresh, so tasty, biscuity, bready, nutty. Look as I rock the beer back and forth. Look at that carbonation chasing the head of the glass. I just want to speak briefly now about the blade and um, when I picked this up last April, 11 months ago now, um, there was only two beers on it. There was a Heineken and a Moretti. And since then, throughout the year, there's been Weiss beer, um, all sorts of different good quality lagers. We recently had a lager from Greece on here. And now for me, the variety is really getting there. It's really, really getting there. I've got down here um, a beer and Messina crystal beer. I think they got a Messina IPA as well, I think. Um, you'd have to comment in the comments box and let me know. So that would be Vice Beer, Lagers, Vienna Lagers, Italian beers. The range now, the range is getting there. The, the styles are getting there. I don't think it'll be long. I reckon it'll be another six months or so and you'll be able to get stouts and IPAs and you never know, you might even get a double IPA. But I'm really pleased I invested in this system when I did um, two 
two beers on, I was a little bit apprehensive. Am I only ever going to be able to drink Moretti or Heineken on this machine? Um, have I gambled? Because it was £420 when I bought it. Um, and I'm glad, I reckon I've gambled correctly on this. I really do. I think 2021 and going forward is, is really exciting times for not just the Blade, but all of the beer machines, I think. I think it's going to be a real, real exciting time. A nice, exciting time if, you, if you're building pub sheds and, and whatnot. This is superb. This is absolutely superb. A real top, top quality beer. It's made my afternoon. It really has. Really pleased we've got hold of that. Dead excited now that I've got just shy of 8 litres to get through over the next week or so. I like the beer enough to give it a stone the crows 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!